with goddess guidance and to all my new viewers thank you so much for tuning in welcome to goddess guidance my name is jasmine but you can call me the lemurian goddess hey wake up wake up wake up it's the first of the month get up get up get up catch your check and have fun i don't even know if that's the words i just made if i made that up then whatever but catch that check and have fun all right it's the first of the month happy july 1st to all my viewers all my g3 family i love you guys i hope you have an amazing month i'm sending you nothing but love light healing um blessings abundance i'm sending that all to you this month okay um <clears throat> but you know what it is you know what time it is it's time for that weekend one. Oh yes we about to get lit <laughs> and i feel i feel it's a good energy it's gonna be a good energy this weekend for you guys okay i'm seeing you know before we get into it i'm gonna tap into these intuitive messages i'm seeing somebody here is going to be courageous or needs to be courageous this week or brave this week like really need to um uh, uh move past their fears i feel like um your courage is uh is 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 very very necessary for this moment in your life yeah we experience many moments in our life right um some moments last longer than others but i feel like this moment this this season this this level is going to re require you to be brave courageous it's going to require you to be in the front on the front line it's going to require you to stand tall to to be 10 toes down to um yeah to, to have no fear okay so you know fear is shoot the littlest the little the littlest of fear can have us paralyzed when it comes to our purpose and what we need to do. So yeah, we don't have to be scared of this, but if we're scared of that, let me tell you something, that little bit of fear, <laughs> that little bit of fear can, I'm telling you, whoo, stop everything for you. So yeah, I feel like it's a little bit of fear that you're still holding on to that you need to truly get rid of this weekend. This week, when, this week, week when, this weekend is going to require you to step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, um, your north node, that's a part of your north node. I feel like, um, yeah, you're coming into your north node. This, uh, I feel like, okay, I'm sorry, you, you're in your north node. And this is why mother is telling you to be brave and courageous right now because this is what your north node re requires like you have to you can't be scared of people you can't be afraid of their faces you got to say what your intuition is telling you to say you got to speak how you feel it doesn't matter what anybody else is going to think or or, or or say it doesn't matter if if people don't want to uh, uh be a part of what you got going on anymore it doesn't matter if you lose people you know people that you feel are vital to you it doesn't matter Okay, do what's best for you. Yes, self-love is at an all-time high this weekend. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing self-love at an all-time high. So practice that self-love in every area of, of your life, even in the area where, you, where you're scared to do something. What is like, ah, that's self-doubt. You got to replace that self-doubt with self-love because what will love do? Love will do all it has to do. Love has no reason to do things, okay? Yeah. Brave, 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 bravery. It's something about you when you was a child. Something about, I don't know, this could be a, a relationship with your parent, a mother or father. Somebody didn't, somebody didn't make you feel, okay, so say like a son, like a father and a son. You know, maybe the father was like a, a macho, macho man, you know, out cutting down trees with axes and stuff like that. And the son wants to, you know, I don't know, read and, and play the piano and, 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 and be in instruments and stuff like that. And the father was, was mad, like, well, look at my son. My son is a sissy. My son is a punk or something like that. It's like, I feel like that somebody went through something along those lines growing up with your parents. Like your parents didn't, uh, they didn't help you or, or they made you feel weak 
they weakened you where you were supposed to be strong. See, so bam, back to the to the dad cutting down the trees with the axe and, and you know, the son reading a book so, or, or playing instruments or something, or something like that. It's like, you you were put here to read you or, or, or you were put here to, to play your instrument. You were put here to get this knowledge, to gain wisdom. You were put here to do that. So they were, so somebody in your childhood was talking down on you for doing what you were put here to do. You was already doing whatever you were supposed to be doing as a child. You were already walking in purpose. You were already on this journey, on this path. Okay. You were already on it. See, you think that you woke up and now you woke up into to a new journey and a new path. No, baby, you've been on the journey. No, baby, you've been on the path, okay? Right when you, when, you, when you came out of that womb and opened your eyes, that was your journey. That was the path, okay? Oh, I, even if you was asleep, it doesn't matter. That was a part of the plan. That was a part of the path, okay? So, no, you didn't wake up into, into, into this. No, this, this was already planned and predestined for you when you got here in this 3D reality. So I feel like, yeah, you, you've been doing what you were supposed to do. Maybe when you was a, a child, they, you know, you didn't get the support that you needed. They talked down about you. They, they made fun of you for doing what you, you know, what, what you felt you wanted to do. And now you're older and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, but you still are holding on to, you know, what mommy said, what daddy said, what auntie said, what, co what your cousin said, what your, what your old ass best friend that you don't even talk to no more said, what people that, you know, don't even matter in your life. You're still holding on to that just a little bit though. Just a little bit. Because like I said, you're in your north node. You're walking in your purpose. You're strong. You, you, you feel powerful. You feel like you're ready for whatever. But it's still something that's not allowing you to fully flow. I feel like that fear has something else. It's, it's something attached to that fear. It's lack. Lack is attached to the fear. Mm. So your lack is empowering the fear or your fear is empowering the lack? July wants to be a very abundant month for you. July wants to bless you. <laughs> The whole month of July wants to bless you. Every day of July, look for your blessing, okay? Your blessing start this weekend. Ooh, this is why you gotta be brave. See, something is going to require you to speak. Something's gonna require you to do. Something's gonna require you to act in this North Node, in your purpose, okay? And, 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 and maybe in front of people, maybe you're gonna have to proclaim something with power with strength, like with authority. You remember when Jesus was talking and it was like, who was this man talking with this authority? Who gave this man this authority to talk like this? It was something about his voice. I feel like it's something about your voice this weekend. Oh shit. They better get ready for you because what you got to say, they not ready. They not ready for it. They not ready for it, but it has to be said. It has to be done because this is your time to shine. This is, this is your time to receive. You're in, you're in your receiving season. Yeah, this is what I'm, that's what I'm going to call this reading, your receiving season. That's what you're in right now, okay? And you have to trust and believe in, your, in yourself. You have to have faith in yourself, in your goals and what you do. Mother said you are well prepared. You are well prepared for this level in your life. You are well prepared for the battles that you are about to go into. Don't think that you got out of battles to stop going into them. No, you, when you, every time you beat a battle, you become stronger. You become wiser. You become richer. You become uh, 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 br braver. You become mightier. Ooh, holier. That's what I just heard. Prepare for the next battle. Prepare to win the next battle. Oh, you're see your losing season is no is it's ooh, 
yes. You came out of this losing season and now you're about to walk into your receiving season. Oh, you're already in the receiving season, mother just said. This is why you got to be bold. This, you, you got to do what you have to do. You have to no longer allow things to hold you back. You are your number one, it, you, like, 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 uh, 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 what's the word? Hindrance. You are your biggest distraction. You are your biggest hindrance. It's you. Yeah, we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. It's people that that's doing magic on you. I, I know. Mother said we we know we're taking care of all of that. You don't even gotta worry about that. But we know that they're messing around with it. Yes, yeah, somebody here has has been putting up with a lot of spiritual attacks quietly though you don't really you're, you don't really voice these attacks i feel like people attack you silently wanting you to voice things publicly but this is why you're getting blessed i feel like because you you, you yeah you move gracefully all my ladies in the place with style and grace allow me to yeah, yeah, somebody got style and grace. And every time and, and everything that you do is in style, is in grace. So these it's a lot of people throwing things at you, but you don't even allow it to affect you. You 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 still, even even if it does affect you, you don't voice these things. You're not putting these things, you're not you're not doing or feeding these energies. But so but but so so because you move with style and grace, you get blessed. Because these energies are, are, are still trying to attack you, they get karma. So we don't worry about them. Mother said, don't worry about that. They're going through their karma. You, my friend, have something that you need to say. These karmics don't want you to speak. Something about, yeah, you've been having trouble speaking. You've been having trouble uh, expressing yourself. Maybe all, your throat chakra is all blocked and clogged up. But mother is saying all you have to do is move, is act. These whatever whatever you're feeling is 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 all mental. It's not even it's not even really uh, affecting you. I feel like somebody knows people are affecting them, and you're allowing that to affect you. Just because you know it, don't mean that what they're doing is harming you. Okay, you thinking about it is harming you more than what they're doing. They don't have the power or the authority to even come near you. This is why these ener you cut these energies off, right? This is why you're not around these energies because they don't even have the clearance to be in your energy. So if they, if they can't even have the clearance to be in your energy, you think that their spells and all of their stuff is going to have the clearance to come through and do it? Come on. Know your power. Know your strength. So don't focus on it because your focus is what's giving, is what's, is what's, is what's powering you're not even powering them. You're, you're just giving power to what that is. To, to, so say they're trying to block you. You thinking about these people blocking you. But it's not their blocking. It's not what they're doing that's blocking you. It's the fact that you're thinking about being blocked that's blocking you. Understand your power in this season. In your receiving season. Nothing can stop you. You don't come into the receiving season until you win some battles, until this, uh, you, you sowed the right seeds. You don't come into receiving season. You're in the receiving season. Nothing can stop you but you right now. This is what mother wants you to understand and know. You are untouchable. You are unstoppable. Be brave. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. They don't want you to talk your shit. Talk your shit. I'm sorry if y'all don't like the cursing, but y'all know what it is. Come on, be grown, be adults here. Click off if you don't like it. Listen, God is guidance is is, is 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 real over here, and it just is what it is. Language that language doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, I'm sorry. You clicked on to my channel. <laughs> uh, receiving season talk yo shit yeah, mother, I'ma talk my shit. Talk your shit. Don't matter what nobody else is talking about, okay? The water. Ooh. <laughs> Mother just said the elements are on your side. The elements, the water, the air, the fire, the earth. Ooh, intuition and downloads. Yeah, you're getting a lot of intuition and downloads, okay? I'm seeing butterflies. I'm seeing you being, a, you being, it's a lot of butterflies around you, all right? I'm seeing somebody here 
that has really elevated. You have uh, finished your initiation process. And now you're like an open channel. That's what I'm saying. Somebody here is an open channel. Somebody's about to be very stable, very abundant in their, in their stability and their finances. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, thank you, Mother, for the messages that has already come through. Love you so, 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 so much. Um, I ask that you give my beautiful G3 family clear, direct messages. Messages all for their highest good. How do they move forward? What can, what can they look forward to this weekend? Or what do they need to watch out for? Because we know that they out here seeking, lurking. Okay? Roaming. <laughs> Trying to get whoever they can devour. So whatever we need to look out for, Mother, please make it clear. And I ask that my... G3 leads with the clarity that they came seeking. Love you so much. Mm, this is going to be good. Love is starting. Cut, cut the cords. Cut the cords. Cut the cords. Oh, signs and reminders. This is just a reminder. That's what mother's. I'm like, mom. I'm thinking about like, okay, what? She said that's just a reminder. A reminder to continue to keep those cords that you cut, cut, okay? A reminder. It's time to, yeah, I feel like because you was able to cut these cords, you're, you was able to spark. You was able to light yourself up again. It was something about you being able to, to really flow and walk in your truth once you cut these energies off. So I feel like maybe this weekend, energies are probably gonna try to come back around you. Mm -mm, mother said, keep those keep those cords cut. You have to, you have to move forward. There, there, there are things uh, are better for you. I feel like these are karmic energies, past energies, and people that, that wanted to stop you, people that, wanted to, that, that were in some type of competition with you. I'm seeing some masculine energy that was in some type of competition with you, okay? Some masculine energy that was, yeah, yeah. They wanted to compete with you. They wanted to cut your cords. This masculine energy was trying to end you. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? But let me tell you something. This masculine energy has been stopped in his, in his tracks by the divine. Mm. Somebody, some, or, or it could, or it could be a female. Uh, 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 what is it? Uh, operating in that masculine energy, okay? But yeah, yeah, because maybe it has business, something to do with business, maybe in the workplace, somebody. Um, Maybe somebody that do what you do or something like that. There's something going on like that. But these these energies were like, oh, in competition. They wanted to end you. Somebody didn't like your light. They wanted to stop you from shining or they wanted to control your shine. Yeah, these were friends. These were friends and ex-lovers. Okay, but you got so many intuitive downloads about these things. So many intuitive downloads when it came to these people, when it came to what they were doing, when it came. See, a lot of people were, were smiling in your face, but doing shit behind closed doors, not understanding and knowing that the divine mother is on your side. She gives you downloads. She gives you intuitive messages. You, 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 know, you know shit that you don't even want to know about these people. Okay, you got friends and family and lovers that you know shit about that you don't even want to know about. But, but you're so connected, you're so in tune that mother gives you these downloads, okay? Mother give yeah, you, because you're an earth angel and you deserve all the opportunity and changes that are coming in towards your life. So mother wanted you to, to, to really know about these energies because these energies were hindrances to you. They would have blocked you. They were trying to stop you, but you, you figured it out. People smiling in your face. Acting like they, you know, they're your besties doing all of this stuff. Look, 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 look. It was a lot of BS telling you that they love you. Look, look. And mother had to give you, mother had to tell you to cut the cords with these people. Okay? Maybe this can be two female, two females in a relationship. I don't, listen, that's none of my business. Do what you do. Whatever you do is whatever you do. But I'm saying, mother told you to get rid of that energy. And you know it. Okay? And because you because you cut the cords with these people, a lot of opportunity and changes are coming into your life. And it just is what it is, okay? A lot of opportunities. Yeah, I'm saying that, like I said, the elements are on your side. The elements are working with you, okay? The elements are working with you. So that's like, that's like saying, mm, somebody was about to come and harm you. Somebody was about to come and harm you. 
The elements would would, would, would stop this. The, the earth would stop it. Um, oh yeah, the, the earth will stop it. The earth will swallow their ass up. Something will stop them. They'll get into an accident out of nowhere. A bird will come and, and, and mess up their view and they run into something. Now they got a flat tire. It's like the, the elements are on your side. The, 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 the animals are on your side. Everything is wanting you to win in this receiving season. You think that you're the only one that know that you're receiving in this season? No, the trees know. The birds know, the bees know, the butterflies know, it, because it's a frequency. Receiving is a frequency. Yeah, you gotta be on the frequency of receiving. Money is a frequency. I feel like somebody has tapped into that frequent, that, that abundant frequency. And now that you are, and now that you tapped in, you came in, it's like everybody, everybody around you feels it. Everything around you feel it, okay? And this is why people want to come back into your energy because they know that it's about to go. It's like these people are getting into, oh, okay. Mother said these people are getting messages too. Messages too. But you see, you getting messages and it's making you feel good. These people are getting messages and it's fucking them up. Because now you're vulnerable. You're, you're, you're free. You, you, you don't, you don't, you don't have Energies, see, it was energies that was trying to play on your vulnerability. That's what it was. But now you're free. And I feel like this weekend, this weekend, you, you, you're, it's like this, this freedom is about to be seen. This freedom is about to be understood. It's like, I feel like people were talking about you, maybe talking about how you was doing something, how you was making money, how you were surviving. People, I'm hearing, I'm seeing that people had a lot to say about you, but I feel like something this weekend changes everything. I feel like everybody that said something about you this weekend, they're going to have to eat their word, words. And it's because you did the work. You're free. You can be, I'm seeing that you, you freed yourself from this matrix. You freed yourself from, from, from the system. Maybe you don't even work anymore. Maybe you don't even have a job anymore. It's like you, you're, you're no longer um, on the same level as a lot of the people that you left behind because these people, no matter what, are still bound to some type of system. You are free. You are with the, 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 the elements. You are with the water. You are with the air. You are with the fire. You are with the earth. You are truly free. You are a, an earth angel because you have done the work okay my gods and goddesses my g3 you guys have done the work and now you are able to move in this freedom mother said don't only move in this freedom be bold in this freedom know that you deserve this freedom know that you deserve this level know that you deserve you're deserving of this stage in your life Okay, yeah, it's a holy love. I'm seeing somebody here who is whole mind, body, and soul. You are you are a wholesome being. You are a, a whole in, individual. It's, it's no lack within you. You lack nothing. The, yeah, you, you because see, see, I feel like because you don't have material wealth or or, or your money isn't where, where where you want it to be, or your business isn't going as as you know as it's not doing as, as well as you want it to do at the moment. But you don't gotta worry about that. That is switching around for you because you did the work. I'm see, you're receiving. See, you sown a lot of seeds. Did have you seen the seeds that you have sown? Have you seen the harvest from the seeds that you have sown yet? No, right? Right? You're like just waiting. Like, where is my harvest? I'm telling you, this is what this is what's coming towards you in this receiving season. You put in all that work and now you're about to receive. The thing about it is don't give up in your receiving season. Don't fall off in your receiving season. Don't lack in your receiving season. You keep moving forward in your receiving season. You keep being bold and prosperous in your receiving season. You keep having faith in what you're doing and in yourself in your receiving season. Mother said, don't, don't get this harvest and then fuck it up. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody was like, no, 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 no. This is my receiving season. Yeah, this is what this is what you're talking about this weekend. You're not worried about these energies that you cut up. And if you are, mother said, stop it, okay? Stop it. You, you're free, and you are free for a reason. You are free from these. These were dark energies, okay? These were dark energies. You are the lights, okay? These were these were uh, uh, evil energies. You are uh, uh, of the good. You know what I'm saying? It's like you you are opposite of these energies, okay? And this is why you had to get out of there. And it activated transformation. Mm. 
Mm, you transformed. And I feel like, yes, yes, this weekend, this weekend, something transforms. Something's going to require you to be bold this weekend. Mm. Okay. Somebody wants you to forgive them. Somebody's going to come apologizing to you this weekend. Or it's like, and, and if they're not saying it, they're, they're sending this energy towards you. Okay. Okay. Let me get one more card because I'm seeing that. I'm seeing the story here. I'm seeing the story here. Okay. Cut the cords, vulnerability and freedom. Forgiveness and understanding. What's, what's the last one, mother? Let me get one more. Because <laughs> I see. I already know what's going on here. Uh, one more. One more. Okay. Power and intention. I'm telling you. You're very powerful. You're very intimidating, too. Okay? People are scared of you. People are scared of you. Mm, that's funny. Ease and grace come out. People are scared of your energy. They're scared. And I feel like... I feel like they should be scared, number one. Um, and, and, and not scared. Okay, okay. It's, it's people that are, that are scared of you, but there's people that fear you. And it's different. You know how they say, um, I fear God? This is how these people fear you. Like they fear God because they see the God in you. They see how mother and father works in you. They see that you're a, a star. They see that you're magical. They see that you're powerful. They see this about you. And everything you do is in love. Love covers you. Love surrounds you. You're such a loving soul. And this is why people want your forgiveness and understanding. You cut the cords with these people and they didn't think that you were. That's what was that's what that's what, what happened. You cut cords with some people, you set something, you put you put up boundaries, you started saying no to certain things, you you started putting you first, you started trusting in your your strength and your ability to do your 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 you know your stuff alone. It's like you didn't you started not needing nothing but but you you and, and, and once you started doing that, you became free. You you, you started you was able to float. It was like Things started falling off of you. You started to let shit go. And, and, and because you started to let shit go physically, you, you felt uh, freer spiritually. It was like because all of these burdens that were on you because of these energies that you were around in the 3D were now being lifted, removed. So you were free. You, you were able to float. You said, oh, shit, I, got, I can flow. You said, I can fly. You said, I can levitate. I didn't even know I could levitate. Yeah, baby, you can levitate. <laughs> You started levitating, okay? And these people are sick because they, they it's like they're realizing, listen, listen, you the star. They seeing this. They realizing this. They're realizing this now. And, and it's not that they didn't realize it before. See, you, you, I feel like you, you knew who you were, but it's just this love and heart that you had to learn how to set boundaries with. And I feel like these people, and I feel like you didn't even, it's some energies that you, that you cut the cords with completely. And it's some energies that you just set a, a strong ass boundaries and people don't like your boundaries. People don't like that. They can't cross your boundaries anymore. That you're really standing guard and you're guarding your heart. Okay? With the staff of power. Of truth. Of love. You're guarding your heart now. And these people want you to forgive them. They want to come back in your energy. They, they want you to be easy on them. They want you to show grace and mercy to them. They want you to understand. They, 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 some people, oh, it, it was, it's not my fault. It's because of this. It's not that I don't really, I mean, yeah, I feel like that, but I, but I, I, I love you though. Yeah, it's like people want you to be, be un, but, but I, please, can you understand? And mother, and these people want you to be easy. They, they want you to show grace and mercy. And look how you're sitting. Because you have transformed. You're not the same person. You're not any. See, it's, I feel like these energies don't even know how to come back into your energy because you're not the same person anymore. 
but I feel like they're gonna try to come back. Somebody's trying to come back this weekend or, or somebody's trying to play your energy this weekend. There's something going on, something going on this weekend and it's gonna require you to speak your truth. Oh, sh this is an X. This is an X, look, what, look what's upside down, romance and connections. This is, this is an X. This is a this is an ex soulmate. This is somebody that you were that that you were really truly connected to that that you had some type of spiritual connection with. They they're being led towards you. We always picking up on this energy, right? They're being led back towards you, okay? And they're coming towards you, but you you're you are you have to speak your truth because you're not the same, okay? You have transformed. You are now sitting on your throne. You are now. I feel like you are at the, you, you you're sitting at the table with the big dogs now. You're no longer playing small. It's like you're you're playing with 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 with, with elites. Yeah, it's like your energy is sitting at even if even if uh, uh, physically you're not in rooms or with people or doing that just yet. I feel spiritually somebody's already sitting in these rooms. Spiritually, somebody's already being honored and respected. So these, so you are no, you're sitting at the table with people who, who, whoo, these energies that want to come back can't sit at this table because they didn't do some type of work. You did the work. So mother wants you to remember this weekend of all the work that you did, all the seeds that you have sown. Mother is saying, uh, please be kind to these energies when they when they approach you. Be, be gentle with these energies. Ground yourself so you don't, because you're very, and let me tell you, the way you speak, even if you don't think that your words are hurtful or how you say them are hurtful, it's just, the, even, even if it's not even what you're saying, it's just the tone. And it's not even so much about the tone, thank you, mother. It's the frequency. Your frequency is intimidating to these people. These people are low vibing. They don't understand this frequency. This, when you speak in that frequency to them, they feel like you're, like you're, like you're, like, like, like you're, you're bossing them around or, or you're, like you're, um, you're controlling them or, 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 or it's like you're telling them what to do or it's like, you're, it's like, but it's because you have the authority in the conversation. It's because you are the higher power in the conversation. You are the, the, the stronger one in the conversation. Your power is mightier in the conversation. So mother is saying with this frequency of yours, understand it. Don't be harsh with this frequency. Be kind to these energies. But I don't, I don't even have to tell you that. You already know that, right? You already know that. You are a kind individual. You are a kind individual. You are an earth angel. You have a beautiful heart, mind, body, and soul. Everything about you shines and it glows. Everything about you, you the, the, oh my goodness, the stars shine for you. The sun glows for you. The air uh, 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 moves for you. The water uh, flows for you. For you, sis, you, uh, 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 or, or, or bro, I said sis because of the, the, the lady on the energy, but I, but I mean the lady on the energy, the lady on the picture, but it's, it's like I said, this is, this is my God and my goddesses. Don't get it twisted. But you know who you are. You know what you are. You know that even if you're a masculine energy, when you surrender to this feminine energy within you, you can truly shine the way that you're supposed to shine. Will you understand how to how to how to uh, uh, surrender to this energy? And, and anybody, masculine, male or female, when you understand how to surrender to the mother, you can, you're gonna shine. So you're shining right now. You're powerful right now. I'm seeing that you you have not a care in the world. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that you're sitting at you're sitting on some throne. You're sitting on your throne waiting to receive. Somebody here is sitting on their throne waiting to receive. And yeah, these energies, <laughs> these energies are up all night. Look, the nine of swords I'm telling you, you cut the cords with these energies and they're up all night. Sad. Vulnerability and freedom. Mm, the earth mother. This is, this is good. This is an empress. Yeah, you, you are in your empress energy, okay? You are in your empress energy. 
the the um the world tree um, maybe somebody's pregnant somebody's about to give birth so maybe somebody's about to find out that they're pregnant um maybe somebody is seeing a lot of ducks or geese But I'm saying that you're, you are the earth mother. Some three here. So maybe you're seeing threes a lot. Three, 33 or 333 or just three. Um, either either way, I'm feeling that um, something is coming towards you. Yeah. Something is coming towards you in July. And in, in this month, the world tree. I feel like this, this weekend is, is the start of a beautiful month for you. I feel like you, you get to you get to speak your truth. You get to let these energies know how you truly feel. I feel like, yeah, I feel like maybe there's some type of solution. There's some type of resolution with these energies. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Some type of solution. Somebody has to talk. Somebody somebody wants to apologize to you. They want to explain themselves and oh, oh. they want to, yeah, this King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Holy King, the Ten of Wands. Okay. Yeah, because I, like, I, okay, it's a lot of energies. That's what I'm picking up. It's a lot of energies that, um, that finally see you now. And they want to come back. Maybe you have three, three masculine energies around you that want to come back. Or there's three feminine energies. I don't know. Um, or just three. I'm seeing three people here. I'm seeing two people. The king of the king of Chow, of cups and the holly king is the same person. I feel like there's two energies that, that, that may be approaching you this weekend that wants forgiveness and understanding. One energy is, is very dark. Yeah, with this Ten of Wands, I feel like one of these energies seem abundant. Somebody's gonna to try to come and, and 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 portray like they like they really got everything together, like they they did, you know. It's like, I feel like even if this is a, a ex a ex lover, I feel like okay, I feel like both of these people are are from your past, but I feel like maybe one one is going to act like they changed and act like they they want to be with you, and one really does. That's what I'm seeing, and one really does. Mother is saying one of them put ten swords in your back. The other one is a, is a knight of a knight of cups. I feel like this energy it was it was very brief. This knight of cups, the knight of cups was was a, a very brief energy. Somebody that was in and out. Somebody that was that, that came in and 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 I feel like this energy that was in and out quickly is going to probably um, come back in. And I feel like this King of Cups is somebody that was here for a while, somebody that you dealt with for a long time. Okay, this energy had had a, something dark about them. Something about something about them were, uh, you know, I feel like they were a moocher. They, yeah, something about this energy. They're acting like they got it all together, but they don't. This energy portrays themselves in a public in one way, but really behind closed doors, they're like something, something dark about this, this, this King of Cups. Now, like I said, this can be a female in this masculine energy. Okay. It can be, you know, two females, one that was brief, one that was, you know, quick or whatever, you know, that, that might come back and want forgiveness in this. And I, and I see that there's somebody that was there for a while, you know, that, that wants forgiveness um, from you. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
by Eva Grace. Your mother doesn't want you to be back in any any type of heartbreak, this any type of three of swords energy, any type of um sad, depressed, lo um, low vibrational. Um, Cause I feel like I feel like this whoever's in this King of Cups energy, you know whoever whoever is is putting on a front on a show, this dark energy that that's trying to come back. All they're gonna do is have you have you broken hearted and sad. Look, keeping secrets from you and all that other type of stuff, doing magic on you, you know, um, under the moon, doing. It's like they they're just they're not gonna be good for you. They're gonna leave you very broken. And I, but I feel like this this is okay. Let me with the second energy here because I feel like both of them want forgiveness. It came out again came out again the three of swords with the lady and the lord yeah don't go back to this energy i feel like you had a very spiritual a very strong type of spiritual connection with somebody The crow. Yeah, you have you have wisdom. Mother said, use your wisdom when it comes to these energies. You know what they put you through, okay? Um, the the Knight of Pentacles, uh, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, what I'm seeing is, I'm, what I'm seeing is, it's two energies that's going to come back. One is deserving of you, and one isn't. Okay. Um, Mother said to speak your truth this weekend. Look, like I said, it's a lot of it's it's a lot of energies that were that were doing magic on you. I feel like it was a group. You escaped a group of people. Okay, you escaped, you got a, a whole different view of life and escaped a, a a plethora of people that wanted bad things for you. That was trying to do bad things for you. And and because you escaped these people, you was able to transform and really come into this power and and into this authority really took your seat at the table you sitting at the table with greats right now baby you and your receiving season they can't even they can't mess with you they really can't mess with you so mother is saying whatever whoever whoever comes back to you this is two energies okay you'll know you'll know it's one that that's been there for a, a long time right maybe a, a, a um a year plus a year plus and it's one that was in and out that was a couple of months right so um just be wise when it comes to these energies. One, ah, the one that was, that was, you know, that you was with for a while, you know, that you was dealing with. I'm saying that, yeah, I'm saying that you had some type of sexual uh, uh, um, relation with, with, this, with this energy. Yeah, so, and I feel like that's why they, they, were, they were able to do magic and all this, could be all this stuff on you because you, was, you already connected with them sexually or something like that or had some type of soul tie or something with this energy. Mm -hmm. But mother is saying, ah, ah, there's something, there is something coming towards you, okay? There is something coming towards you. And this is why mother wants you to ground yourself, be in this graceful energy. She don't want you to be out here arguing and fighting with these people. It's like, you, you, you need to be graceful, peaceful, okay? Floating in your freedom. Floating in this... Uh, success that you're about to come into or that you're already in baby this is your receiving segment ah, she's ready you ready <laughs> are you ready speak your world it's a being are you ready <laughs> are you ready it's here it's now come on speak that life speak life you have the power to call those things that are not as though they were gemini I may be talking to a gemini here aries go for it go for it go for it unleash your kind of self baby your your grace your style your kindness is your power and they can't stand that shit trust the universe and leave the past where they at okay talking to aquarius a capricorn who I'm talking to here, mother. Come on. How we finishing it off? Mother said, unleash your kind of self. Go for it. She's trusting in you. The universe is trusting in you. The universe wants you to trust in it, but the universe trusts in you so much. That's why it's unleashing. That's why you're receiving. Because it trusts you. 
You did the work. You beat things that your ancestors couldn't beat. They're so proud of you. Let me tell you something. The ones that came before you are so proud of you. They're bragging on you in the spiritual realm. Yo, you see that? Mother said, yes, they are. <laughs> Yes, they are. Embrace the flow of life. Release control. Maybe somebody here is trying to control the situation, how, how, how something flow for them. I could be talking to a tourist. Be proud of yourself. I'm talking to a tourist uh, again. Um, assess the situation. That's a, a, a Virgo. Embrace the flow of life, though. Mother wants somebody to, a, a, a Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. Embrace what's, come, what's happening for you. Um, yeah, mother wants you to be so happy, so she don't want you to allow any of these energies back, okay? I'm not, listen, use your intuition. That, whoever that was that was doing that magic and stuff on you, they are, don't bring their ass back in your energy, okay? I don't know. I, you know, I didn't get too deep into the, into the King of Cups, but they, you know, they're offering you they want to come and offer you some cup of love too so listen trust your intuition when it comes to this thing okay and assess assess every situation okay don't just go into something blindly but i feel like you know that you know that you know how to flow now you know how to flow so good it's crazy okay that's why the, the universe is really like yo she did it he did it no you are loved yes no you are loved Libra. that's the universe the universe is like yo Yo, look at my child. Like, look, that's crazy. You know they, you know they, how, how long their generation, their, their bloodline been going through this shit? And here this person come and just, yo, step into your power. Cause you the one. You the one. Okay, G3, I love you so much. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Goddess Guidance. I hope that this message resonated. If it didn't, you can always book with your sis, all right? We go deep into your energy. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to leave your sis a donation, I would love that. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you so much in advance, too. And for all the ones that have already donated to the channel, I love you. I thank you. Okay, you keep, you help keep Goddess Guidance running. Let me tell you something, okay? <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Until next time.